the world. And today, you'll be learning how to add and subtract fractions. How do you learn? Today, you'll be learning how to add fractions with unlike denominators. As you can see, I have 1 6 plus 1 4. You turn the 1 6 and you find the, the LCD, which is the least common denominator. And the least common denominator for 6 is 12. And the least common denominator for 4 is 12. Then you have the 12 here. And you have the 12 here. You do 12 divided by 6, you get 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Then you do 2 12s plus 3 12s equals 5 12s. Here, we have 2 sevenths plus 5 eighths. You take 2 sevenths and 5 eighths. You turn the, you have the 8 and 7. You have the least, you have the least common denominator for 7 is 56. And the least common denominator for 8 is 56. So you put them here. And 8, the 56 divided by 8. Is five, and then five. Wait, hold on. Five times thirty. Five times seven is thirty-four. What? Fifty-one is mm -hmm. equals fifty-one over fifty-six. And number three, we have seven over nine plus one over five. The list of least common denominator, which is the least common denominator for 9 is 45, and the least common denominator for 5 is 40, 45 too. So you put them there, and then you do 45 divided by 5 is 9. Then you do 9 times 1 is 9, and you get 9 over 45. Then here you have 45 divided by 9. You get 5 over 12. Five times seven is thirty-five. Here at number four, you have three over five and plus two over twelve. One over twelve. One over twelve. One over twelve. One over two. Five is the least common denominator for five is ten. And the least common denominator for two is ten. You place them here, and ten divided by two is five. Five times Five times one is five. You have five over ten. It's equal to half. Also, here you have three over five. Well, ten divided by five is just two. Two, two times three equals six over ten. Here at number five, you have eight over nine plus six over ten. You have you listed these common denominator for nine and ten. The least common denominator for nine, as you can see, is nine. And the least common denominator for ten, as you can see, is ninety-two. Not ninety-two, the number nine. Ninety divided by nine, ninety divided by ten is nine. Ten times six is sixty. I got fifty four. This is wrong. Nine ninety divided by nine is ten. Ten times eight is eighty. That's the answer for ten and nine and eight and nine plus ten and six. Here you have six. Number six. Two and nine, seven and eleven. You have the list of the common common denominator for nine and eleven. Ninety-nine and ninety-nine. Yeah. You have ninety-nine divided by eleven is nine. Nine times seven is sixty-three. Ninety-nine divided by nine is eleven. Eleven times two is twenty-two. And here's the back. One over eight plus two over five. This is the common denominator for eight and five. Well, you have 40 and 40. You get 40 here, 
40 there. 40 divided by 5, you get 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 40 divided by 8, you get 5. 5 times 1 is 5. That's number 8. We have number 8 here. We have 3 over 5 plus 1 over 2. The common denominator 5 and 2, 5 and 2, 10 and 10. Here you have 10 and 10. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And then you add them. And you get 11 over 10. That's the improper fraction. So you equal sign, mm -hmm. and 10 goes into 11 one time. 10 minus 11, 10, 11 minus 10 is 1. 1 over 10. Then you here, you have number 9. 1 over 6 plus 2 over 5. 6. Is the least common denominator and the five is the least common denominator. No. The least common denominator is the six and five. The least common denominator for them is thirty. Here you have thirty, and here you have thirty. Thirty divided by five is six. Six times two is twelve. Thirty divided by six is five. Five times one is five. Then you add them. Get seventeen over thirty. Here, we have number 10. 1 fourth plus 3 six, which is also a half. You have the least common denominator, least common denominator is 12 of 6 and 4. Put 12 here and 12 here. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. When you add them, you get 9 over 12. Here, 7 over 8 plus 1 over 4. 7, no, sorry, not 8, 4. And the common number of 8 and 4 is 8. And you can see here, 8 and 8. You will put 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times, 1 times 7 is 7. You get 7 over 8 and 2 over 8. When you add them, 9 over 8. Now you have another improper fraction. You equal that and put 1. So you get 8 into 9 once, and 9 minus 8 is 1. And you get 1 over 8. 1 and 1 over 8. Here, at number 12, the last number, we have 2 ninths plus 1 half. How do you get it without the common denominator? Well, there you list the multiples of 9 and 2. The multiples of 9 and 2 is 18. Then, here you put 18 and 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And 9 times 1 is 9. 18 divided by 9 is 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. 4 over 18. And thank you for watching this video.